Today we will discuss about MCQ for basic mechanical engineering part 1 and that is about the introduction. So welcome to my YouTube channel mechanical engineering management. So let's start from the question number 1. Barometer is used to measure options pressure, temperature, electric energy, force. So I'm going to show you the barometer and that is used to measure the pressure and especially the pressure is the atmospheric pressure of the air. So A is the right answer. Next, which property is called intensive property? Options, kinetic energy, viscosity, internal energy, magnetization. Thermodynamic properties are basically two types, intensive property and extensive property. Intensive property not depend on mass, whereas extensive property depends on mass. Example of intensive properties such as pressure, temperature, viscosity, etc. Example of extensive properties such as mass, volume, energy, enthalpy, etc. So here, which property is called intensive property? Viscosity is there. So, B is the right answer. Next, dash is not types of mechanical energy. Options, potential energy, heat energy, kinetic energy, none of the above. So, basically you know that mechanical energy is two types. Kinetic energy and potential energy. Kinetic energy is due to its motion and potential energy is due to its height. So, heat energy is not actually the mechanical energy. So, B is the right answer. Next, any change that a system undergoes from one equilibrium state to another is known as dash options, path, process, cycle, all of the above. So, let us consider the figure pressure versus volume diagram and these are the intermediate states. And this is the initial state 1 and that is called as the equilibrium state 1 and this one is called as the equilibrium state 2. So, any change from equilibrium state 1 to equilibrium state 2 is known as the process 1, 2. So, I can say any change that a system undergoes from one equilibrium state to another equilibrium state is called process 1, 2. So, B is the right answer. Next, the unit of rate of work is dash option Newton meter per second, joule per second, kg meter square per second cube, all of the above. Start from this word rate of work. So, rate of work that means work with respect to time or you can say work per unit time. And you know that work is also force into displacement upon time as it is. Unit of the force is Newton, unit of the displacement is meter, unit of the time is second. So, this is one of the unit of the rate of work, Newton meter per second. Make a box. Now, next, Newton meter that is joule. So, you need to remember. So, joule per second that is also one of the answers. So, B is also the answer. So, make a box. So, once again, I am going to start with this definition rate of work. And that is force into displacement upon time. Force that is actually mass into acceleration. Displacement as it is, time as it is. Now, unit of the mass is kg. Unit of the acceleration is meter per second square. Unit of the displacement is meter. Unit of the time is second. So, if you simplify over here, then you can say kg into meter square upon second cube. So, it is kg meter square upon second cube. So, this is also the right answer. So, in short, I can say all of the above is right. So, D is the right answer. Next, prime mover is a device which converts natural resources into dash energy option. Mechanical energy, electrical energy, heat energy, internal energy. So, generally example of prime movers steam engine, steam turbine, gas turbine, IC engine. So, if you look at these all prime movers are actually used to develop the mechanical energy. 
so generally we can say prime mover is device which converts available energy into mechanical energy so a is the right answer next zeroth law of thermodynamics forms the basis of measurement of the following options heat exchange work pressure temperature so you know that zeroth law of thermodynamics if the two bodies a and b are in thermal equilibrium with the body c then body a and b both are also in thermal equilibrium generally thermal equilibrium that is mainly related to the temperature so here you can say the principle of the temperature measurement is based on zeroth law of thermodynamics so d is the right answer next which of the following is high grade energy option work heat chemical energy none of the above so work can be transformed into any other form of the energy with 100% efficiency and that's why it is called as high grade energy whereas heat cannot be transformed into any other form of energy with 100% efficiency and that's why it is called as low grade energy so here high grade energy that means work so a is the right answer next work is considered positive when options work is done on the system work is done by the system both a and b none of the above so you need to remember if work is done by the system then it will considered as a positive if work is supplied on the system then it is called as the negative so here b is the right answer next the si unit newton meter per second is called option what joule calorie none of the above start from the newton meter per second so you should remember that newton into meter that is always joule so it is joule per second and joule per second that is called as watt because of watt is the unit of power and power that is called as the rate of work done so then here the answer is a next the unit of pressure is option pascal newton per meter square bar all of the above so let's start from the definition of pressure so pressure is equal to force upon area now you know that unit of the force is newton unit of the area is meter square so this is one of the answer so make a box newton per meter square itself is called as pascal so a is also the right answer so make a box you know that 1 bar is equal to 10 raised to 5 pascal that means bar is also the unit of pressure so here you can say d is the right answer next in an isolated system what transfer option mass energy both mass and energy neither mass nor energy there are three types of the thermodynamic system open system in which mass as well as energy both are transferred in closed system only energy can transfer mass cannot be transferred whereas in isolated system neither mass nor energy transferred so d is the right answer next which of the following is a path function options heat temperature pressure volume so consider the figure pressure versus volume diagram and this is the state 1 this is the state 2 here there are the two path from state 1 to 2 one is with the red color and another one is with the green color now when two coordinates are located on the graph they define a point and the two properties on the graph define state so here you can say the state 1 and state 2 having two different property that is pressure and volume similarly for the state 2 pressure and volume so pressure and volume are actually called as the properties so if the coordinates are located on the graphs with the defined point then it is called as a point function but there are certain quantities like heat and work 
cannot be located on the graph by a point, but they are represented by area. So if you consider this one to process, then area below that curve that represent as the heat or work done required. And if I consider this green path, then your work done or heat transfer is changed. So you can say in another word, heat or work both are actually depend on the path and that's why both are called as the path function. So here you can say heat is the right answer. Next, which law give the definition of temperature? Options, Planck law, Charles law, Avogadro's law, zeroth law of thermodynamics. So already we have discussed, this is actually a graphical representation of the statement of zeroth law of thermodynamics and that gives you the definition of temperature. And you can remember simply thermal that is mainly related to the temperature. So from that at least you can remember that zero slope thermodynamics gives the definition of temperature. And so that D is the right answer. Next, the first law of thermodynamics is the law of option. Energy conservation, heat transfer, work transfer, all of this. This is the statement of the first law of thermodynamics. Energy can neither be created nor be destroyed, but it can be converted from one form to another form. That means it is more concerned with the law of conservation of energy. So A is the right answer. Next, how is absolute pressure measured? Options, gauge pressure plus atmospheric pressure, gauge pressure minus atmospheric pressure, atmospheric pressure minus gauge pressure, none of the above. First consider the figure. This line is called as the zero pressure line and this line is called as the atmospheric pressure line. So that you can understand this is the atmospheric pressure. If the pressure is measured with reference to this atmospheric pressure then it is called as gauge pressure. If the pressure is measured with reference to this zero pressure then it is called as absolute pressure. And if the pressure is below atmospheric pressure then it is called as the vacuum pressure. So here from this figure you can understand that absolute pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure plus gauge pressure. So here A is the right answer. Next, the extensive properties of a system dash option are independent of the mass of the system, depend upon the temperature of the system, depend upon the mass of the system, magnetization. So basically thermodynamic properties are classified in two different categories, intensive and extensive property. Intensive property not depend on mass, extensive property depend on mass. So here extensive property depend upon the mass of the system that means C is the right answer. So keep watching, we will continue the same session in the next video. So thanks my dear friends, press the like button to appreciate this video.